What's going on folks? Today I'm going to share with you three of my go-to apps that have helped me track down and isolate tricky PC problems over the years. And the great news is they all have free additions so you can use them too. So let's not hang about and let's get straight to it. My first app is an app called Space Sniffer. Computer runs slow for no real reason. My first step is always to check for free space on your primary storage drives. Windows needs at least 10% of free space as a rule of thumb to maintain performance. However, sometimes you can be running out of space and not know what files are taking up all that space, especially if the PC you're working on is not your PC. This is where Space Stiffer comes into its own. It's an awesome little app and it allows you to track down where all the space in your storage drives has gone. After an easy installation, simply run the app and it generates a graphical representation of all the files and folders on the selected drive. The larger the square, the more space that file or folder is taking up. Here we have a 500 gig SSD with Fortnite, Apex Legends and Steam taking up the bulk of the space. Further down the pack we can see Adobe's Creative Suite, but we can also see that both the desktop and downloads folders are looking pretty big. If I was looking to clear some space on this PC, those folders are probably where I would start. So before you rush out and buy an additional drive or a bigger replacement drive, give Space Sniffer a shot. My second app that I keep close in hand is Ada64. This is one for when you suspect some kind of hardware fault. You're getting blue screens, the system's locking up, or maybe you've just built yourself a brand new PC and you want to ensure it's stable. It provides detailed information about the installed software, offers diagnostic functions, as well as some sweet support for overclocking. All the stats are brought back in real time, so you can easily see accurate voltage, temperatures and fan speed readings, while its diagnostic functions help detect and prevent hardware issues. Ada64 has four key tests that you should be interested in. Number one is the CPU, FPU and cache test. This will stress your PC in the same way as a high-end application would. I would use this for stability testing at medium everyday performance. The second test that Ada has is just CPU. This one really goes easy on your PC and it will return the lowest temps in testing. This is one that's kind of reserved, I use it for testing older PCs. The third test in Ada64 is just FPU. Now this is when things get serious and they get really hot for your CPU. This is going to push your temps to the absolute maximum. You want to use this if you have a high performance CPU cooler, think liquid or big air, and you want to check to see that your temps are as expected under load. Now the fourth test Ada64 has and its inventory is just cache. This is where your system memory is going to get put under higher load. It's a good test if you want to check out for the long-term stability of an overclocked system as opposed to just pure cooling power as we mentioned in the previous test. And the final test in Ada64, well that's just memory. This one does what it says in the tin and it delivers a hard workout for your RAM. It's an ideal test for RAM that's been overclocked and you want to check for system stability. For users new to PC maintenance and repair, you might not know what temperatures are normal, but that's okay. If to find out, all you do, simply Google your PC, your CPU model number, type max temperature, and Google's going to come back to you showing the results of your processor and the highest operating temperatures for that processor. And finally, I'm going to give you Memtest 86. This is the granddaddy of stress tests for RAM. It's been around for years, but that doesn't make it any less useful. It is a unique approach to analyzing RAM and checking for all kind of errors. Remember, faulty RAM can cause blue screens, unresponsive applications, poor performance, and all sorts of other random issues. If you've already ran the aforementioned ADA64 and temperatures are good, then I would suggest the next step you're looking to confirm is if your RAM is okay. So unlike other standard applications, you're going to have to boot this program from a pre-prepared USB thumb drive. After that, it's going to execute a series of comprehensive algorithms and test patterns to examine your RAM stability for faults. Memtest 86 uses high performance memory profile, popularly known as XMP, to stress your RAM. Apart from that, it uses some cool stuff like the hammer test, sequential memory blocking, moving inversions, and many more complex methods to put your RAM under heavy load. The best part about Memtest 86 is it supports all kinds of RAM, from old school DDR all the way through to the fastest DDR4. It's also compatible with PC and Mac, and Memtest 86 will clearly show you if you have a physical fault in your RAM. If it does show you that, then in that case, I would try reseating your RAM and checking your BIOS version to ensure all your settings are well there. 
If you still got a problem, then unfortunately you're probably gonna have to look to get that RAM replaced. And there you go. That's my go-to three apps for hardware problem solving. I'd love to know what apps you use and if you've got any suggestions that other people should be listening to. If you have any problems that you would like my help with, then drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to, well, do exactly that, give you some help. I hope you found all of this useful. I'll link, um, well, links to all the apps that I've just mentioned. Um, be sure to hit like if they found this video useful and uh, I look forward to seeing the next one. Oh, and make sure you subscribe. See you in the next one.